All right, y'all, so I saw these two political stories in the news and I decided to do a video on both of them. I think these stories really reflect how much of a circus I think politics as a whole are. Governments in this country continue to be a mess. Let's talk about it. All right, so let's get right to it. The Tennessee House has expelled two Democratic politicians who have led a gun control protest after the shooting happened at Nashville's Covenant School. We already know that um, some adults died and three nine-year-olds died as well from that shooting. So obviously the community there would be pissed off, right? In a rare move, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives voted 72 to 25 to expel Justin Jones and 69 to 26 to remove Justin Pearson. But an expulsion vote failed against a third Democratic lawmaker, Gloria Johnson, who also joined the protest. I'll talk about Gloria Johnson a little bit later. Republicans said the trio had brought, quote, disorder and dishonor to the House. Now, if it brings disorder and dishonor to the House, the Tennessee House of Representatives, for lawmakers to be protesting because of gun violence that killed three nine-year-olds, if that brings disorder and dishonor to your house, what does honor look like? <laughs> Letting kids die and not say anything about it? <laughs> Crowds of protesters have attended the state capitol, Tennessee state capitol, uh, since the school shooting. The March 27th attack at Nashville's Covenant School, as we know, killed six people, including three children. Um, so, I mean, this is a video that was taken from this week at the Tennessee State Capitol. Fuck you, fascists! Fuck you, fascists! They are not playing around. They are not playing around. I mean, as you shouldn't. Kids are dying. <laughs> like, what? So these are the politicians in the picture. Um, the two black gentlemen obviously are Justin Pearson and Justin Jones. Uh, Gloria Johnson was the other Democratic uh, lawmaker, politician, whatever, who joined the protest and she was not voted out. She was not expelled, even though she, I think she, obviously she was up for expulsion, right? When Gloria Johnson was asked why she thinks she survived the vote and none of the Justins did, uh, she said, I think it's pretty clear. I'm a 60 year old white woman and they are two young black men. Johnson added that she felt other legislators had been demeaning to the pair who she praised as brilliant, caring people who love their community and want to fight for it. Justin Pearson has done a lot of work, a lot of political work in the nonprofit sector. Um, he also was in a lot of organizing groups, including Memphis Community Against Pollution and the Poor People's Campaign. Justin Pearson told Start Here that he recently lost a classmate due to gun violence. Uh, he noted that murders in the district are up 44% this year compared to last year. He said, I think about responsibility as an elected official and the care and compassion that we should just have as people. Those are uh, together. Now that's Justin Pearson. He was up there speaking. Like I saw, I think a video of him speaking to CNN and he was just like understandably pissed off, but like he was also saying that sometimes you have to get expelled to get to move shit forward. Justin Jones, apparently Justin Jones was not only did he protest for stronger gun safety, but he was the activist who played a role in the bust of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest being taken down from the Tennessee Capitol. Then he staged a protest at the Tennessee State Capitol where he demanded the removal of a former KKK leader before he was arrested. So in the speech, when they were about to be kicked out, Justin said, one member sits in this chamber and they were found guilty of domestic violence, but y'all didn't expel them. He said, we had a former speaker sit in this chamber who is now under federal investigation, no expulsion. Uh, one is still under investigation, no expulsion. Y'all had a child molester in here, no expulsion. I mean, they were saying that they were calling for red flag laws. Justin was saying they were calling for universal background checks, assault weapons ban. He said, they have not even allowed us to have the conversation. Um, but it's just it's just an interesting precedent that's going to be set now because if you think Tennessee, if Tennessee did this, 
other state houses are gonna um, do this as well. You protesting if you're dissenting or anything like that is giving is giving very much we about to kick your ass out. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm so disillusioned. I have been for a long time with politics in general, just because I feel like if you want actual change, these structures, these bodies are letting y'all know that it's not gonna happen. <laughs> like, and if you speak out of line, you speak out of turn, we finna kick y'all ass out. Given how pedal to the metal. These GO the Republicans have been. This shouldn't be that surprising, but I just, it's shit is hitting the fan. Like politically, sociopolitically, whatever, shit's hitting the fan. It is just so wild, right? After Sandy Hook, I already knew what the T was, but like it's just so wild to be sitting up in these particular politicians' faces and be like, oh, well, because you decided to protest um, while kids are dying from gun violence. Uh, you're, you're getting kicked out like these people are really heartless what a bold way to say you don't care about anybody in your damn <laughs> you know what I mean in your damn city in your damn state whatever not even the kids let's talk about Clarence Thomas uh Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas a pro publica report Thursday said that Thomas and his wife traveled through Indonesia aboard billionaire GOP mega donor Harlan Crow's 162 foot yacht vacationed almost every summer at his luxurious New York resort and flew on his private plane around the world on trips worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, these trips appeared nowhere on Thomas's financial disclosures. His failures to report the flights appears to violate a law, some law passed after Watergate that requires justices, judges, members of Congress, and federal officials to disclose most gifts. I wanna read part of this article real quick from Huffington Post. Like most government officials and also employees, Supreme Court justices are required to report all gifts every year on a public filing. If they don't reimburse the value of the gift, it has to be disclosed. The threshold requiring disclosure for Supreme Court justices is $415. The cost of renting a private jet for domestic travel is $70,000, according to ProPublica's investigation. Now, only once in 20 in the in 20 years, in 1997, has Clarence Thomas disclosed receiving a private jet trip on a Crow's aircraft. Several experts on the issues of disclosure and ethics who spoke to ProPublica agreed. Failure to report the gifts is a violation of the disclosure law. In the article it says this, a federal employee once told me that if he took too many branded pens and post-it notes from a vendor, that mere appearance of impropriety could cost him his job. Federal rules on gifts and disclosure are stringent. Employees cannot accept any personal gift from a vendor or consultant that exceeds $20 without reporting it. They are warned regularly and typically required to take a mandatory annual ethics training to remind them of this simple rule. Oh, I think this like really highlights one of the main things that I hate about politics, as, I mean, in this country, right? Is that you got, I mean, Clarence Thomas, a whole black individual, a whole black man who is no friend, honest, obviously, to progressives. In his opinion, uh, like we know, concurring with the Supreme Court's decision to overturn the constitutional right to abortion established in Roe v. Wade, Justice Clarence Thomas wrote that the high court should revisit all cases built on similar legal footing, including cases that guarantee the right to contraception, same-sex relations, and same-sex marriage. So while Justice Thomas has been being flewed out by these GOP billionaires, you know what I mean? And keep in mind that billionaires ain't just gonna spend spend time with you if they don't want nothing. Not I'm, let's be real, they got a bunch of shit to deal with. They gonna spend time with y'all. They, they, uh, they're not gonna spend time with a Supreme Court justice and pay, and you know how stingy a lot of these motherfucking rich people are? Pay all that motherfucking coin if you're not getting something out of it. And they responded, both Clarence Thomas and also the billionaire, uh, Harlan Crow, whatever, ended up responding. They both were kind of like, well, we've known each other for so long and it's just, you know, I'm just treating my friends to some stuff and that's fine. And it's just like, you, these politicians being flown the fuck around, like you, I mean, it gives me very much cool. Like what, what, how else do you describe that? Being flown around by these GOP billionaires uh, and acting extremely conservative policy that fucks up so many m minority people's lives and you are a part of a marginalized group, girl. Like really getting flown around like literally on this man's yacht going to island hopping and shit. Why you fucking up other people's lives? Like why you fucking up marginalized people's lives and if you not, are not yourself a part of a marginalized group, girl. And it's just like people ain't got no goddamn backbone. They don't have 
um, no type of integrity. If you are that easily controlled where all they got to do is fly your black ass around on a jet a few times and you stripping away people's rights in the same breath, like, you are a puppet and a doormat. <laughs> like, it's so, it's so tired. It's so, it's so tired. Especially, like I said, because people's real lives are being affected by policy and these bitches are out here trying to, you know, kick out the half a percentage of politicians that actually want to make a change for real kicking them out of tennessee state house and now we got clarence thomas over here kicking with the gop the gop billionaires and shit and not disclosing this shit i hate it and that's why politics always will always in this country look like a fucking revolving door of stupidity complacency greed evil and oppression because you got you got the, all this going on but anyway, let me know what y'all think about this. Absolutely wild stories. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you have a good goddamn